musical chameleon. He achieved stardom. The 60s, 70s, 80s, without anyone ever knowing his real name. Some loved him, some loathed him. Either way, the man behind the hat is a legend. And this is his story. Little is known about the man behind the hat. I remember when he first put on that hat, he was the happiest kid. At a young age, he kept to himself, sometimes spending weeks in the studio playing music. I've been with him in the studio, and I see how he can grab any instrument and get lost in its sounds. Man, that guy can play anything. One time I saw that guy play a saw, man. He was just upstage ripping his saw. A perfectionist, the man released very few records, sometimes toiling over his ideas for months at a time. Once in everyone's cri critic lifetime, an artist comes along that truly, truly moves you. The man behind the hat was, was just that. His first record, Hat Music, was received by mixed reviews. Why does he wear a black hat? A red hat is much cooler than that. The first time I came across the man behind the hat, I didn't like it. And then I realized it was more than just music. It wasn't long after when the man exploded onto the scene. That moment he knew he could have had anything he wanted. Although he was now a household name, the man shied away from fame and stayed elusive throughout his career. He was never into this money or the business. I don't need money, I don't need fame. Music. In here. He's the reason I got into music. Back in 79 when I played Madison Square Garden. I was really nervous, man. He came into the dressing room and said, just chill out, man. Just feel the music. He did it for the love, man. Unfortunately, not everybody saw it that way. This unexplained hate pushed him further into reclusion. He played his instrument so much that it took over him to the point that he abandoned all his surroundings, including his family, including me. Man, one time we were chilling backstage and he walked in, told us all to get out. Man, that guy's a deep. Those guys are nothing about me. Nothing without me. That's it. I had enough. No more questions. After a while, the attention became too much for the man to handle. He came to me pretty often, stating that he wished his career in the music industry never happened. I encouraged him to continue, but then he gave me a look in my eyes. A look that I'd never seen from him before. It was a look of pain, of self-destruction. He came to me and said that people just want more and more, but I don't know how much more I can give. Why do people have to be so obsessive? You think he appreciates that much attention? That evening was his last show. So a few days later, I called him and he never answered. It turns out that he ran away and changed his identity. And he was to completely abandon everything he knew, everyone he knew, and that would be it. We wouldn't hear from him for years now. I can't do this. You just get the camera off my face now. It's a shame that he didn't get the recognition he deserved. 
It's a damn shame.